Bronchogenic cysts are congenital malformations that develop during the early stages of the respiratory system's formation. These cysts typically form as abnormal growths in the bronchial tubes or surrounding tissues of the lungs. Although they can occur anywhere in the mediastinum or lung parenchyma, they are most commonly found near the trachea and bronchi. They are usually detected incidentally, as many patients remain asymptomatic until the cyst becomes large enough to cause symptoms by compressing nearby structures. These cysts are classified as mediastinal or intrapulmonary depending on their location. The exact causes of bronchogenic cysts stem from an abnormal development of the foregut, leading to these fluid-filled sacs. While the precise cause is not fully understood, it is widely believed to be related to errors in the embryonic process, particularly in the early development of the respiratory system. Risk factors include congenital anomalies and family history, but many cases arise sporadically without any known hereditary predisposition. Patients may experience a wide range of symptoms, depending on the size and location of the cyst. Small cysts often go unnoticed, but larger cysts can cause respiratory symptoms such as persistent cough, shortness of breath, wheezing, and recurrent respiratory infections. In severe cases, cysts may compress nearby structures like the esophagus, causing difficulty swallowing or chest pain. Treatment options for bronchogenic cysts primarily depend on the size and symptoms. If the cyst is asymptomatic and not causing complications, it may be monitored with regular imaging. However, symptomatic cysts or those at risk of becoming infected or malignant typically require surgical removal. Surgical management involves resecting the cyst through procedures like thoracotomy or minimally invasive video-assisted thoracic surgery. VATS. Complete excision is crucial to prevent recurrence or infection. Post-surgical care is essential in ensuring a smooth recovery for patients. Nursing care plans focus on managing pain, monitoring respiratory status, preventing infections, and educating patients about postoperative care. Nurses play a key role in supporting patients, ensuring adequate oxygenation, monitoring for signs of infection, and providing emotional support. Postoperative exercises, such as deep breathing and early mobilization, help reduce the risk of complications like pneumonia or atelectasis. Subscribe to us for more videos like this and visit bazaarbiblio.com for notes and free PDF books. Thank you.